So one of my favorite business models that has made me millions of dollars over the past few years for putting very minimal time in is affiliate marketing. This method of making money is in simple terms, getting someone to click, buy, or use a product, and in exchange, you earn a commission. Now this right here is one in about 10 different dashboards that we use for some of our affiliate marketing. Out of all the other ones that we use, this is actually on the lower end for our affiliate marketing income. And by the way, I also had some people thinking like, you know, we're like faking this. This isn't true. Guys, first of all, I do not have the technical capabilities in changing the code. And this is not Photoshop. I'm clicking around here. Um, we can do like last month, this month. I can refresh the page multiple times. So just to verify it's true. Now, affiliate marketing has absolutely changed my life. It's something that I got into about five years ago. And right now with all the tools that exist, it is more than possible for you guys to get started today. So in this video, we're gonna be going into the laboratory, all right? And I'm gonna take you through in my computer some real world examples on people doing affiliate marketing, how easy it is to get started. We're also gonna find out how much money they're making. And on top of that, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step to making sure that you guys can get started today. All right, guys, so here we are inside the lab and I'm gonna take you through some real world examples of people making hundreds of thousands of dollars per year right under our little noses. All right, so this morning, my girlfriend went ahead and sent me a DM on like a collapsible cart. All right, so this is just an example of your basic affiliate marketing, even without a website. So the way that this individual here has gone ahead and set this up is that they have right here, tap link in bio or comment shop. So when you comment shop, we'll go, go ahead and do that. Normally what a lot of people are doing is they're setting up something called a many chat automation. Many chat is verified with Facebook and Instagram. So this pretty much just allows you to automatically send people the affiliate link within their DM. And you also get more better conversions inside the DM. So if I posted that, if I go into my requests, it says, <laughs> Hello, girlfriend popping in with the link. Obviously, I'm not her target demographic. Also, we do live in some times where, you know what, she's in the wrong. She needs to, she, she doesn't know my gender pronoun. Anyways, here's the link to it. Basically, we're gonna copy that. We're gonna put it in here. And what it should do is take us to a page where she is then able to make sure she gets the affiliate commission. So this is LTK, shoplTK.com. This is just another one of those websites where you can link certain products from Amazon. And the way I can tell this is an Amazon affiliate link is if I copy the link address, I put it in here. Judging by the URL, you can actually see if there's a tracking link on here. So this one is 100% an affiliate link. It takes it to it, it's 89 bucks. So if I actually go ahead and buy this, she is gonna get anywhere from like a one to 3% conversion. To verify those numbers, what I'll do is go into amazonassociates.com and you'll actually notice that things like Amazon games are gonna pay out the highest commission. They're gonna give 20% compared to like luxury beauty, you get 10% versus tools like this, which I would consider to be anywhere from 5% over to even 3% on the lowest. Now guys, I've used Amazon Associates for a while. I don't actually promote anything on here. So you're gonna see how low our earnings are, but this is completely passive. Like. I don't remember linking an Amazon product in the last year or so. So for us to even still get $18 is still pretty incredible. Now, upon doing further research, I noticed that this individual's account, it's pretty much all Amazon affiliate links or to certain other brands. Like she does work with big brands. She also has a million followers. She has a TikTok account, a YouTube account and more. And this is just another one of her link in bio pages where if I decide, you know, I want to I wanna buy some bras. Even I know this, there are bras right now from popular companies called Skims. I believe this is the one owned by, you know, uh, Kim Kardashian, don't quote me on this. It's just what I pick up from the ladies talks here and there on the weekends. Basically, I know some of these other branded products cost way more money. So if she is able to find a need within the market where it's like, oh, this is like this product, but it feels like you're wearing nothing and you can get this much for this low of a cost, those things can usually go viral. So this person here has obviously been doing an amazing job. So I also went ahead and found her YouTube. She has 370 videos posted here. A majority of them are actually shorts and you'll notice Notice that a lot of the titles is just tap link in description. I feel like she's already crushing it so much on Instagram and she has a TikTok as well that she's probably not really focused too much on YouTube. And also YouTube is not as user friendly with promoting those affiliate links within shorts. Now what's also cool is that this person actually has a website. 
And on her website, I went ahead and found in her about page, basically her brand analytics up to just one month. So this is January 1st to February 15th. At this time, she had less than a million followers. So I bet her analytics are much higher now than it was before. She also has a blog and a Pinterest account, which actually from reading this, it looks like this is probably where she's making a majority of her money. So out of this information, based on her brand package, she gets 2 million clicks per month. And then out of that, she gets about a 3% item sold conversion rate. All right, so if you wanna know how much that is, first of all, 2 million clicks in a month is freaking insane. It doesn't matter what space you're in. If you are getting 2 million clicks on certain products, you're actually doing a better job than a lot of these professional marketing agencies that'll be charging companies six figures a month to help run their ads. Going back into my impact portal, on average, our CPC, also known as the EPC, which is cost per click or earnings per click. So pretty much they'll round up how much I make per click. So anytime someone clicks on one of my impact links, what does it average into after the payout happens? It's about a dollar. I personally think her EPC is way higher than mine, but given this conversion, if we do some math, we can actually get a rough estimate on how much she made for the month of January to February. All right, so based off these numbers, out of the 2 million clicks she gets, let's say that 64,000 of them actually pay out. If we take my impact EPC, which I'm telling you is rather low just because I'm within the finance space and a lot of my products don't sell because people either need to hit a certain limit, they need to make a certain deposit. With her items, the EPC is gonna be much higher just because when people see an item they like, they buy it, the cost per click goes up to what her payout is. But you know, we'll give her the super conservative estimate. We'll give her even a lower amount than me and just say she's making a dollar. That basically means she's making $64,000 a month just from affiliates. I personally think she could be making way more than that, but you know, this whole industry varies. Sometimes, you know, if you're not making content, it can go down. But for the most part, I think it's safe to say that this individual here, even just off her Instagram and all these Amazon links that she has, she's making well above $30,000 a month. And if you're making $30,000 a month and all you're doing is posting on social media, things that you're wearing and you're working, you know, less than an hour a week. These are short videos. These don't even take that much work to edit. It's not a bad gig at all. Now I'm gonna take you guys through a second example here as well. So this is say off the example that instead of you running a social media account, because let's re be real, all right? She she got the aesthetics, you know, she's she'd be working out obviously. And not a lot of people may be able to post content to this level. I think the ones that don't involve her like in the scene and it doesn't involve the background of what it seems like a really nice home, most people can do. But let me tell you, from my attention to detail, this looks like fake marble wrap. I actually can't tell, but even if it is fake marble or whatever, there's still a level of detail that she's putting in these videos. Like the lighting here is near perfect. You can see the reflection coming off of some of these items. These angles are amazing. Even just the rings and she's got her nails done and the background of all this, she is the ultimate, what we would call UGC content creator. So UGC content creators are what drop shippers and Amazon affiliate people were like five years ago when people just didn't even know how to use social media. This here is like the next new thing. Um, and this is because the brand can make a lot of money and the people promoting these affiliates make a lot of money because these shorts algorithms are so good they push it out to people and when it's a genuine good product that other people can use it's just a win-win-win business now I've made a few other affiliate marketing guide videos and we talk about this principle a lot win 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 it needs to be a win for the brand where they're also making money it needs to be a win for the customer where they're happy with whatever they're buying and then if there's a win on those two ends you're gonna get a win because you're gonna get cut a small check from the affiliate commission that you make all right here Here's another one. If I go on google.com and I type in something like marathon blog, the first result that comes up out of 213 million different results is this blog right here, lazy girl running. Now you might think this is a super simple blog and it is. This logo here, I can make in my sleep. I don't even like, I didn't, <laughs> this logo here is just simple, all right? It's a very easy, simple blog, but you'll notice that this person might actually be making a decent amount. What I like to do, is there are tools where you can search up how many visits a website is getting. So I'm gonna put in lazygirlrunning.com into SEMrush right here, and I can basically see how much traffic that they're getting on their website. So this website here is actually still getting a decent amount of clicks because they're still resulting in, you know, on August 11th, they got 586 organic traffic. She does no paid ads, obviously, just because it's a personal blog. 
but it looks like she's still doing fairly well. Now going on her website, she even has outside of affiliate links like training plans. So if you're trying to run your first 5K on her website right here, you can actually go ahead and buy some programs on marathon running. She doesn't sell this for that much. And if this counter is true, for 10 bucks, she's made about $230 passively. Next thing we're gonna go into though is her blog. And this is where you'll get a clear example of using a blog, especially a personal blog, to make some money off affiliate marketing. So you'll notice that she has some blogs right here. Uh, the most recent one was my post run recovery routine. And you can tell this is personable. You know, she has a photo of herself here and she has some sandals, recovery. I love it. What you'll notice though, and this is important, all kit featured in this was gifted by Adidas. It was gifted. So it means that she didn't actually buy it. They sent it to her and she probably is doing like a UGC post on their behalf. Now scrolling down, this is a very easy way to spot an affiliate marketing link. And there's another way to verify too. So she's been running in the sweaty Betty zero gravity running bra. I just realized too, there's a lot of bra action going on in this video. That was all an unintentional. Okay. So basically she gives her review of the bra comes down here. You can buy it from sweaty Betty online. I'm going to copy a clean link or copy the link address. And if you just open this up, first of all, it's going to take you to the link sweaty Betty. She is most likely 99% make an affiliate commission off of this. If I scroll down, they have affiliate section right here. What does an affiliate do? Why join our program? How do you join next steps? Boom, boom, boom. And another way to verify is we take that same link that was on her website. You copy the clean link, post that in here. And it says something really weird, right? Tid.ly. We're going to copy that. I'm gonna post it into Google once again, and you'll notice tid.ly turns into AWIN, and their website is the fastest growing affiliate marketing platform in North America. So this is actually one of our research methods in finding different affiliate programs, um, because there's a lot of these that pop up nowadays, and it feels like it's just hard to keep track of all of them. So right here, she has a redirect link, she's earning commission, and you know, this is a product that she enjoys using. And if someone buys it, let's see how much commission she's earning. You earn a 12% commission. So say you just buy one of those bras, it was 75 bucks. So she's earning about nine bucks per order. If we go back into the website, she's getting about 450 to 300 clicks. We'll say she's getting 300 clicks a day. So let's say out of those 300 people, about 10% of that or 30 people actually end up going on her blog, clicking on a link, they get interested in buying. So if we do 30 times the $9 commission, still about $270 a day. Now guys, that's on a very macro scale on how you can make money through affiliate marketing. I just wanna to prove to you the concept. There's many different ways to do this. It's very possible in making money and we've made millions of dollars so far from affiliate marketing. And this is something that you guys can literally start today with zero dollars. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step process of starting affiliate marketing within my computer. All right, guys, so I'm a very visual learner, and if you are too, you're in for a treat. So the first thing you wanna do is find a niche. Write down a lot of the things that you enjoy talking about or that you have knowledge in. For me, it's either gonna be fitness, rugby, fishing. Um, even now, it's like, starting affiliate marketing, doing YouTube, finances, credit cards. After that, you wanna think about how these niches could fit into an industry where you wanna build your business around. As an example, if I were doing fishing again, you know, I created a YouTube channel on fishing. I talked about this before. And then from there, I got Amazon associate links to basically different lures and gear. And anytime I go fishing and I use a product and I catch a fish, I could just mention, by the way, like what I caught this on was a three inch fluke. You guys can check that out. Link down below in the description. Now, the problem with fishing though, is that you're not always going to catch fish. And some days there, you know, you get skunked a lot. I actually started to cross off different things on my list, like rugby, it's harder to make an affiliate commission because you know you, there's cleats, which I think is a really good profitable niche, by the way, if you're reviewing cleats, that's another business I wanted to start back then. Uh, another one is if someone has like a specific rugby training program, like a five to 10 week program to become really good, they can give you a 20% split on that. For me personally, the way I prioritize the affiliates though is based on the longevity of it, how much it pays out versus the work that I put in. Out of that, I think finance is a great, niche too, but 
Oftentimes, you also have to keep into consideration uh, blue ocean strategy. So pretty much anyone in the world can start a fitness brand. They can start a fitness program. There are a lot more people who can just execute. You know, they're more committed to that game. If I see it as too competitive, I also won't get into it. So for me personally, it just came down to finance, credit cards. And ultimately, that's actually what I created this YouTube channel around. Now take your list, guys, whatever it might be, and then come out with these few questions. Which do you think can make you the most amount of money? Which do you have the most interest in? And what would you have the most to talk about? I would literally pause and do that. It's pretty important. All right, next crucial step is gonna be finding an affiliate network. So the most well-known one that you can get approved for is Amazon Associates, but just think about different products that you can use. Now there are a ton of other affiliate marketing platforms. You just have to do a bit more research, but I'll actually make another video on my channel going over all the top affiliate programs you can have access to today. Uh, the one that we showed earlier in this video though is Impact. They also have a ton of brands on there. I believe they have 1200 plus brands. It's easy to use. I've been using it for five plus years now and it's just very straightforward. All right, so as an example, guys, I'll go back into Impact. So right off the bat there, if I go into find brands here and then all brands, you're gonna be able to see a ton of them. Now, even in this video, like I, didn't even expect this, but we have a many chat subscription here. And this is what we we're talking about earlier on what this individual here was using when you type in something on her video, like makeup, you know, and then it'll automatically send the automation. Just like how I'm teaching you guys in this video, if you taught someone what I taught you, you could actually earn 100% for the first three, six, nine, 12, four months for their subscription. And I believe their subscription is like 15 to $30 a month. So what I would do is I'd press join and I would give them a brief description about myself. I am a YouTuber making content, educating others within the finance space. I have whatever followers you have, 1.4 million subscribers and mainly post on YouTube. This is just a easy example. So I pressed join and my application was auto approved. Normally after that, I would just go into create link, create it here, I'd be good to go. Uh, just going through this, I've used Chegg before when I was in college to study and it looks like they also pay out an affiliate commission. Uh, a lot of these subscription services pay you out a percentage of their subscription. And another one here is Credit Sesame. So they'll pay you per revenue on the transaction. And you can just find different programs here. Now, some of these don't fit what you like to do. You can actually sort it based on how much they pay out. So like we can do a CPI payout percentage, see what's paying out the highest. We can also do sale payout amount. So if you didn't wanna do subscription, we can actually see what pays out the most. So as an example, Kindred Motor Works right here. If you get them a pre-order, they'll pay you $2,000 as an affiliate. And the thing you wanna just do is make sure it's a legitimate company. And they say a Kindred, Kindred. Oh, this is really cool. Wow, if you bring them pre-order, I mean, they're expensive, but this looks amazing. Look, if I was rich, rich guys, like rich, 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 <laughs> I would really consider this like an old school Bronco. That is clean. You can sign up for their affiliate program right here, make a blog, make a short form website. Uh, you could even hop on a call with people to answer some of their questions to get them to sign up. And then you're almost acting as if you're a salesperson for these people, but you still work on your own terms. Another cool one here is Toast. This is a B2B service. So as you guys know, I own my own restaurant here with a few other investors in Rockville, Maryland. Come check it out, Guzo if you guys live in the area. But basically Toast is a system where it allows restaurants to do the whole payment you know, thing. You can add tips, whatever it is. It's a payment provider. If you get someone to sign up for Toast, they'll give you $1,000 within 45 days. And if you get someone to just do a demo request, they're gonna pay you $150 out. That right there is insane. The way I would get affiliate commission on this is I would go on YouTube and I would make guides on how to start a restaurant business or you know how a restaurant business could save X amount of time and money. And you'll actually notice if we go onto their website, they'll give you all the marketing tools you need. So I'm sure Toast will compare themselves to some of the other bigger brands. You know, they're ranked as the number one point of sale, G2s. And it's just about making content, educating people on this, because some people just don't know this stuff exists. Or another way is to literally just be knocking on restaurant doors. Like, hey, you know, I work for a POS system company, not actually, but you know, I'm an affiliate lead generator. So you could go to restaurants in your area. Some of them are super old school and be like, hey, listen, I know y'all are using this terrible system right here, but if you switch over to Toast, you guys can make a lot more money. 
I'd recommend you guys set up a demo call. And if you don't wanna put in that work where you're like knocking on doors and stuff too, you could send out a mass email. Just get all the emails of the restaurants in your area and then let them know like, hey, I run this agency. Here's like a quick 30 minute tutorial video if you guys wanna check it out. And what we believe is good for you is Toast. So they'll think you work for Toast. You actually don't, but you do get paid commission. So in essence, you do if you're making a lot of money. And with something like this, guys, if you're able to convert people, like just say 10 restaurants, you're making $10,000 in a single day or a month, however long it takes. On the topic of that, Impact has DoorDash on here. So there are some restaurants that still don't use DoorDash and this is where they can get food delivery set up. So I'd be like, hey, you know, I've been coming to this pizza place my whole life. I love what you guys do, but I noticed you're not on DoorDash. Let's get you guys set up because it's gonna bring you more revenue for your business. It's really easy. I'll handle setting it up. It takes me 30 minutes and then you make sure that they sign up using your own affiliate link here. So these are all the ones, you know what's crazy? There's Gusto right here. We've used Gusto before. I could have even gotten my link, used my link, and then made more videos talking about this too. So when a lot of people say that it's hard to make money out here or it's impossible in getting started, I've literally just given you guys the full blueprint on five different affiliate marketing <laughs> businesses that you could start today. Now, Impact is one of just many different platforms like I mentioned, but at the end of the day, I think affiliate marketing, it's great if you wanna make good passive income, but I'm all about things that are sustainable, that live on the ecosystem of different platforms, social media engines, and one way that you can actually extend the lifetime of your affiliate program and have it run on the back end passively, I'd say blogs is still one of the most underrated best ways to do this. The reason why I say blogs is better than a lot of social media traffic is because when people are looking to sign up for a certain product or an item, they're gonna look it up on Google before they look it up on YouTube or TikTok first. Now things like that may change in the next few years, but as an example, if I'm looking up Gusto reviews, because Google owns YouTube, sometimes you'll notice that YouTube videos pull up on the bottom of this. So if I wanted to do something like Printify review, this is a print on demand service for getting your own custom merch. You'll notice there are videos here. And then if I click on this video and then I click on one of her funnels. So if I get her free Etsy startup guide, most likely guaranteed she's gonna email me also a link to uh, setting up my Printify. And then Printify, I believe has a hundred or $200 affiliate commission right there. Outside of the social media content though, if I made a blog, say thecrazyegg.com, they went ahead and they actually wrote out like a full comparison, the good, the bad, they make it very clear. And usually what they'll do is at the bottom of it, they say, we recommend Printify if I copy the link address, you'll see that there's actually a tracking code right here. So they're earning affiliate commission on this too. Uh, the benefit of blogs guys is the fact that with tools like ChatGPT, you can automate a lot of the blogging process where you don't have to be in front of a camera, record videos, put yourself out there, and you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month passively, anonymously, without having to move your kahuchi right off the seat. So the first step in creating a website for yourself is finding a good web hosting platform. Personally, I've used a lot of them because I've built many websites for myself, but I think one of the best ones that you guys can take advantage of today is Hostinger. Now, before we even partnered with Hostinger, I actually used them to build my own personal website. And the biggest reason for this is that you can actually get a free domain with an annual plan. And these literally start as low as $3.99. Now, by the way, we were already scripting this video and then we decided we worked with them before and I like them. Let's see if they'll sponsor this episode. And they said, yeah. So this integration actually works out perfect. And with Hostinger, whether you're trying to make your own blog version, kind of like the one we're seeing here, or you're trying to make your own e-commerce store, they have a ton of great tools and they have even things like the AI WordPress tool to help build you the website. All right, so to get started, really easy. Go into Hostinger, click on your website, link down below in the description for this, select the WordPress platform to build your website. And from there, you can choose to add plugins to help collect data and improve your website functionality right then and there. Now, all you have to do is choose a theme that you think looks good and then select your preference for the colors and styling. And the next step is that you need to enter a website name and a basic description of what will actually be on your website. So let's say, for example, I'm creating a website for my affiliate products. So I'll enter the name there and a basic description. 
It'll be like Jung reviews. For the website description, I'll type in something like, on this website, you'll find the best products from within the finance and investing niche to help people get ahead in their finances and start from one simple place. Using those prompts, Hostinger's AI WordPress tool is then gonna build a website that you can use then to direct your traffic to your affiliate links. You also don't have to worry about quality because the content is already gonna be SEO optimized when using the WordPress AI Assistant, which I believe can save you tons of time in creating, managing your content. On top of that, Hostinger is gonna give you a ton of useful features. So they're gonna hook you up with a 200 gigabyte of storage, the ability to launch 100 websites, as well as backups to keep your website safe. And with the plan that I mentioned, you get a free domain with an annual plan that can cost as little as $3.99. So if you guys also want a little bit of a discount code, Brian Jung 10 link down below in the description. So once you have your website up, just write out some content with the help of AI, ChatGPT, whatever it is, make sure you proofread it, you know, and ideally you wanna be as authentic as possible, make sure whatever it's saying, you align with the values of it. And then from there, put in your affiliate link and then you gotta drive your traffic. So you can either drive organic traffic or you can do paid ads. Organic is gonna cost you zero dollars, only gonna cost you time. And to get started with that, make videos on TikTok, make videos on YouTube, use Pinterest. There are a ton of ways to drive free traffic right now. Now going into the details on mastering organic SEO or even running paid ads is a whole separate video, but at least for the basis of this, you guys got the inspiration you need in order to get started. So here are some tips for success. You have to choose the right product for the right niche, okay? If you choose a crappy product, you don't know what market it is in, affiliate marketing is not gonna work out for you. Keep also in mind, it's called affiliate marketing, not affiliate selling, not affiliate business, affiliate marketing. So what will really help is getting books on knowing the principles of marketing, how to get people to convert, and there are a lot of great resources on that. One of my favorite books is by Alex Hormozzi, $100 million offers, and in that he talks about giving someone an irresistible grand slam offer. So usually the best affiliates are the ones where it's a no brainer for people. So as an example, this is all real life stuff that I personally do. Let's take a credit card. If you get a credit card, you pay it off in full every single month, you earn points or cash back, that is free money. If I were to tell you, hey, here's $200, take it. And you would have to be a mad person to say no, right? With credit cards, the only catch is you have to spend a certain amount, but usually people are spending that amount anyways. But if you break down the information for people to know, and then I use a referral link, and then I earn additional points or commission on that sale, and people are also benefiting too, it's the win-win-win trifecta. From that example, I have a high quality product. I know how to source traffic from, I know how to provide information and value that allows me to also get more organic content. And if people are happy, the banks are happy with the traffic and I'm able to get a commission, it's a sustainable business. Some other good tips for success is if you're not able to go viral, you can focus on high ticket products. So instead of getting a thousand people to buy a sports bra for like five buck commission that you get. You can sell one product that's really good, a high ticket product where one person will earn you a thousand dollar commission instead. This here is a lot easier to get traffic on, but realize high ticket products mean people have to spend more money oftentimes. So it is a bit more difficult. If you're able to at least get people to buy as simple as like a little tool, you know, like a, a pen, if you can get someone to buy a small thing like a pen, and you're able to master marketing in that degree, eventually you can do high ticket affiliate programs where you can scale this to an incredible degree. So don't go for the super high ticket affiliate programs in the beginning, sell the easy stuff first, get in the rhythm, and then from there you can scale up. The next thing, which I think is probably the most important, build trust with your audience. If you have a blog, if you have a website, if you have social media, if you have a Pinterest account, Whatever it is, you need to build authenticity and trust, and that is one of the reasons why I've been successful over the years. It's because I've given enough value to many people, I've impacted lives, and I don't wanna to be tooting my horn. It sounds like I'm tooting my horn. There's no other way to say it. I impact people in a positive way with high value content, and in return, if they use affiliate links, that is what also spins that flywheel of the win-win-win business model. If you're not approaching the you know Instagram stuff, just do it with your blog. Even someone that we reviewed, the lazy marathon runner, she's showing realistic results. She's showing her time, her improvements, she's showing photos so we know there is a level of authenticity. And we're living in a time right now where AI is completely taking over and dominating the space. So it's just so important to show people that you actually are real and that it's not all written by AI either. Because at the end of the day, I think the most successful people are the ones that are truly authentic with themselves and their audience. Plus it also feels good when you're authentic guys 
instead of feeling all sleazy. So those are gonna be the main tips. If you guys did find any value in this video, be sure to check out the links down below in the description as well. Follow me over on Instagram, over on Twitter, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos on affiliate marketing, if you guys want me to talk about the advanced techniques all for free, I'm here to do that for you and serve my audience. So I appreciate y'all, I love y'all. Let me know if you guys like the different format here in today's video. Take care, stay blessed. I'll see y'all soon, peace.